Has there ever been a time when you found yourself entirely engrossed in a riveting blockbuster movie, or during a never-ending business meeting when you've suddenly been blindsided by the insistent urge to urinate? Just as you've settled into the rhythm of your situation, with 90 minutes or more behind you, the niggling need to visit the bathroom abruptly surfaces. It seems that the colossal cup of soda you enjoyed earlier has decided to declare a rebellion, and the pressure in your bladder steadily increases. As a seasoned individual over the ripe age of 50, you have likely honed the skill of postponing this particular physiological necessity. However, have you ever pondered the hidden repercussions that could occur when you continuously deny this natural call of nature for extended periods? To comprehend these potential consequences, we need to grasp the function of urination in our bodies. Urination is a vital component of the body's intricate plumbing system. The kidneys are indispensable in this process, functioning as meticulous filter systems that effectively remove superfluous water and waste products from our bloodstream. This filtered byproduct is subsequently discarded as urine. The bladder, a flexible balloon-like organ, acts as a temporary storage depot for the urine. Under standard conditions, the bladder can comfortably contain approximately one to two cups of urine, However, when you consistently suppress the urge to pee, your bladder exhibits remarkable adaptability by expanding to accommodate the additional fluid. Intriguingly, a research study focusing on nurses, a profession notorious for sparse bathroom breaks due to the pressing demands of patient care, discovered that many developed bladder capacities almost twice the average size. These individuals appeared to function perfectly despite their expanded bladders. However, this adaptation is not recommended for the general populace, and it is particularly cautioned against for individuals aged 50 and above. An intriguing term for sure, bladder gymnastics encapsulates the act of repeatedly holding in urine, but this seemingly harmless habit can give rise to a number of health complications. The first and most immediate risk is the potential proliferation of harmful bacteria. When urine is held within the body for prolonged periods, the bladder becomes a petri dish for bacterial multiplication, creating a perfect environment for them to thrive. This can subsequently give rise to urinary tract infections, UTIs. UTIs are quite unpleasant, presenting symptoms such as a stinging sensation during urination, an incessant urge to urinate, and pain in the lower abdominal region. Infections such as these necessitate medical intervention, typically in the form of a course of antibiotics, to expunge the bacteria and alleviate the uncomfortable symptoms. Following closely is the risk of bladder dysfunction, another significant consequence of habitual urine retention. This disorder is birthed when the muscles that make up the bladder structure, particularly the detrusor muscle, which plays a pivotal role in contracting and releasing urine, are subjected to weakening due to consistent overstretching, the implications, increased frequency of restroom visits, sudden impulses to urinate, and in the most severe cases, urinary incontinence, a condition marked by the loss of control over the bladder's urination function. However, the repercussions of delaying urination regularly extend beyond the bladder. By practicing this habit, you could inadvertently be placing your kidneys at risk. The backflow of urine, a condition scientifically termed as vesicoretoral reflux, can instigate kidney infections, contribute to the formation of kidney stones, and even result in irreversible kidney damage. These potential complications underscore the crucial role of timely urination in the preservation of kidney health. Moreover, one of the most mortifying consequences of consistently suppressing the urge to urinate is urinary incontinence. This condition is marked by the involuntary leakage of urine, a byproduct of either weakened or overactive bladder muscles. Incontinence is not only a logistical inconvenience, but also carries significant ramifications for one's social life and psychological wellness. Lastly, the fifth risk we must discuss is the chronic retention of urine, which can prompt your bladder to overstretch beyond its standard capacity. This state is termed as bladder overdistension. Prolonged overdistension can weaken the muscles of the bladder, compromising its ability to store and release urine effectively. This can eventually lead to urinary retention, a condition in which you cannot empty your bladder fully or overflow incontinence, which involves the constant dribbling of urine as the bladder overflows. Both conditions can severely impact one's quality of life and underlines why it's so crucial to prioritize bladder health.
While the call of nature might come at inconvenient times, it's crucial to heed it whenever possible. By taking care of your urinary health, you ensure that your golden years remain unencumbered by avoidable urinary health issues. As we continue exploring the intriguing realms of science and health relevant to those over 50, we invite you to share your questions and concerns. Feel free to leave them in the comments section below. We'll be more than happy to offer comprehensive and enlightening responses.